circuit breaker testing with Cibano 500. It is fully automated kit which requires laptop. To start with, let's open primary test manager software. I will give you a brief introduction about the software and will explain about the testing in later part of the video. Please watch the video fully to understand it better. It takes a while to open. This is the home page of PTM software. Select the new get a job out of the four options given and a new window will open. This is divided into five portion. In overview, you can give the name of the project, work order, tested by, approved by, even the approval date and so on. In location, you can give the name of the substation or the location of the site, the region, I think the postal address, everything you can, if you want, you can fill everything, the post, even including the postal code, the contact person, the company details. Unless you fill the mandatory portion, which is marked by yellow square, you won't be able to move to the next step. In asserts, the type of asset we are going to test is circuit breaker. So I select circuit breaker and the type of circuit breaker is vacuum. As I said earlier, it is mandatory to fill the details which is marked by yellow square. Otherwise, you won't be able to move to the next step. You can fill all the details which was furnished by the manufacturer in the nameplate. Try to fill the maximum details either by referring the nameplate or fact reports. Number of phases is 3, number of interrupter is 1, pole operation is gang. Operating mechanism tab has the same details which we filled earlier, so we move on to the next tab which is assessment limit. Here we have to assign the minimum and maximum limit in order for the test to auto pass or we have to pass the test manually. By referring the fact report, just fill the details which was given by the manufacturer. You don't have to worry about filling all these details, most of which will be given in the fact report. You just need to copy and fill it in there and leave anything which is not given. Next we move on to test. Select the test equipment we are going to use. I'm going to use Sibano 500, so I select Sibano 500. Select the test codes you are going to conduct on the circuit breaker. So I select motor current, closing timing, opening timing, contact resistance, minimum pickup. Forget about dynamic contact resistance, which I am not going to explain in this video. On the right top corner, we have general setting. We have to type the reason for the job. Here I select commissioning. Then we have the weather condition is uh, cloudy. The unit location, it is enclosed. You can type the ambient temperature, humidity. Here the number of operation is the counter operation number. You see before and at the end of the test. For operation, the, my counter number is uh, 34, so I take 34. So if you go click save changes, we'll move to motor current. Here you have to uh, type the supply voltage, whether it is AC, DC, how much voltage, volt and volt. 
the coil supply the coil supply voltage we have to type the assessment uh, we have already we have already seen the assessment limits if you click this automatic assessment it will automatically assess the test based on the preset value otherwise we have to pass the test manually as i said before this is the wiring diagram for testing the motor current once the shibano 500 is connected online it will show the connection diagram for each test so if you click the wiring diagram it will show the wiring connections for closing timing again you have to fill the supply voltage for coil and the motor coil spring charge motor also you have to fill the detail motor supply voltage 110 volt you can change the test sequence to either opening open close anything like that this is the advanced setting just fill it if you know the details otherwise otherwise leave it as it is next we go for report you can convert the report to either word or pdf uh, before before converting the report just go to overview and uh, select the overall assessment as no fault I have taken Shibano 500 online and wiring diagram shows these connections. Let's do the connection by seeing this diagram. I have done the connection by seeing the wiring diagram. Let's start the test. Every time we have to press the test button. So the value we get is 29, which is under the limit. Similarly, we have to do for other two phases. Let's see the circuit breaker pin diagram and note down the terminals for closing, tripping and spring charge motor. Here I have uh, one close blocking coil and one under voltage release coil which I am going to bypass it manually. See when I press below the, sc the screw pops out. So I am going to bypass it manually by using a, a crocodile clip. I already bypassed the other coil.
After bypassing the coil, it will be ready for the free close open operation. This is the wiring diagram shown for uh, the timing test. I am going to connect exactly the same way which is shown in the drawing. The connections are completed and it is ready for testing. Let's start. Press the supply motor so that the spring charge motor will get the supply and the spring will be charged for the close operation. This is the graph we obtained after testing. To see the values, we have to click the table tab. These are the values. This is opening tank graph of the circuit breaker. Here, here I have given the minimum and the maximum value of opening time. So to see the values, we have to click the table. We have got 37. Similarly, we have to execute the test for selected cards and open the results. The communication cable used here is audio 45 cable for connecting laptop with Sibano 500. Here timing test is executed for 110% of rate of voltage for both close and open.
Thanks for watching. Share and subscribe for more videos.